my name is Dana Berman and I'm here to present a new and non-local method to single image dehazing. This is joint work with my advisors Tali Tribitz and Shaya Vidan. The challenge is as follows. Given a single hazy image here on the left, we would like to restore the scene radiance, the middle image, and also the transmission, the image on the right, which is related to depth. So red indicates objects that are close to the camera and blue objects that are further away. These three images are related by the physical image formation model. The hazy image I is a convex combination of the scene radiance J and the global air light color A. In this work, we assume A is given. The combination coefficients are different for every pixel X and are given by the transmission T. As you can see, this problem is under constraint because for every pixel X, we only have three measurements, the RGB values of I, yet four unknowns, the three RGB values of J and T. Our key insight is that a few hundred colors can represent images faithfully. For example, we clustered the RGB pixel values of this image to 500 clusters in RGB space. For visibility, we marked four out of the 500 clusters, both in the image plane and in RGB space. Notice that pixels that belong to the same cluster are non-local in the image plane and are often located at different distances from the camera. What happens in the presence of haze? Remember, this is the basic model equation. Now, in RGB space, instead of seeing tight clusters, we see lines. And these lines are spanned by the original cluster color and the global air light color A. And they stem from the fact that pixels that belong to the same cluster are located at different distances from the camera. Our key contribution is how to cluster the pixels in each image to these haze lines, and then how to use the haze lines in order to dehaze the scene. Notice that each haze line points from the air light towards the original cluster color at specific angles. We use these angular information in order to cluster the pixels to haze lines. Here you can see, for example, six pixels that were detected as belonging to the same haze line. And it makes sense because they are all located on the shaded part of the tree trunk and we expect them to have a similar radiance, even though they have a very different appearance in the hazy image. Once we have the clustering to haze lines, uh, we can use uh, it to estimate the transmission per haze line. We, we do that by looking at the distance between each pixel and the air light in RGB space. And this distance uh, is smaller than what it should have been uh, because usually the transmission is smaller than one. We assume that we have at least one hazy, uh, haze free pixel in each haze line and then the transmission is just the ratio between these distances. Here are some of our results. So to summarize, we presented a new non-local method for a single image dehazing. It's linear in the number of pixels and it's very fast. And we'll be happy to answer questions during the poster session. Thank you.